Hungarian folk tales. The poor man and his fiddle. Far, far away, beyond the high mountain and across the vast ocean, there lived a king who had three beautiful daughters. One day the queen said to the three daughters, off you go girls to the forest to pick wild berries and whoever picks the most will have my red skirt. So off they went and they picked and picked berries as fast as they could. When noon was near and the sun high, they settled down in the shade of a tree and looked to see which of them had gathered the most. Now the youngest had picked more than her two sisters together. The two turned green with envy. The youngest sister would have the red skirt. So the eldest of the three had this to say. Girls, girls, come and pick some more for we cannot go home with so few berries. The youngest argued and argued for if they went on picking and picking they would never be home before evening. But her two elder sisters insisted that they stay in the forest. And so it passed. Off went the two into one part of the forest, the youngest to another. But not to pick berries, for they agreed to kill their younger sister. If they could not have the red skirt, then their sister should not have it either. So they set off after her and took hold of her. She begged and pleaded in vain and offered them all the berries she had, but they killed her. Just when they had taken her life, a blind beggar arrived with his fiddle and bow. The sisters took the fiddle off the old beggar, placed their dead sister inside it, and hid the fiddle in a hole in a tree. Home went the girls and were asked where their sister was. Of course, they didn't know. They warned her again and again not to stray into the forest, but she didn't heed them. Who knew? She may have lost her way or even been killed by robbers who live in the forest. In the meantime, a poor man went off to the forest to cut himself some timber. He chopped down the very tree in which the body of the little princess had been placed. The poor man was astonished to see a fiddle spring out of the tree. He took the fiddle into his hands and started to draw the bow on the fiddle, across and up, just like the gypsies did. Now this fiddle was a fiddle that did not just make music, it sang as well. Draw the bow, good and slow, my good fellow, my good fellow. Harm it not, for the fiddle is me. The fiddle you play is Princess Betty. Goodness me, thought the poor man. This fiddle must have a spell on it. Now's my chance to seek my fortune, for a fortune it will be if someone pays to hear this wonderful song. Off set the poor man to wander the whole wide world and earn so much money that an entire cart could hardly suffice to carry it after him. On his travels he came to the town of the king, whose youngest daughter met a death so cruel. He stopped outside the king's palace and began to play his fiddle. The king heard the wonderful melody and asked a servant to order the fiddler into his palace. The servant ran out and delivered the message, but the musician replied that not one step would he take, for he had more money than the king himself. Back ran the servant to report what the musician had said. There was nothing for it. The king himself stepped out and invited the musician into his palace to play for him. So often did he ask that the musician went in, tapped on the fiddle twice and started to draw the bow. Draw the bow, good and slow, my good fellow, my good fellow. Harm it not, for the fiddle is me, the fiddle you play is Princess Betty. The king had this to say. A wonder of a song, a wonder. 
the two princesses were standing by and gaping at the song. One of them took the fiddle and started to play it to see what it would sing for her. Draw the bow, good and slow. You killed me, but no one knows. The other princess took up the fiddle and it sang the very same for her. Then the king took up the fiddle and the fiddle had this to sing for him. Draw your bow, good and slow. Princess Betty loves you so. This is witchcraft for sure. Let me try the fiddle too, said the queen. So she took up the fiddle and started to play, and the fiddle had this to sing for her. Draw the bow, good and slow, mother dear, mother dear. Harm it not, for the fiddle is me, Princess Betty is here, you see. And at that very moment, the fiddle opened up and out jumped the little princess, as alive and as beautiful as a spring flower. The two elder sisters fainted away in fear. The king and queen wept tears of joy for the daughter they had lost and mourned, but had now returned in such a miraculous way. Now that the cruelty of the two elder sisters had come to light, the king locked them up in a tower, there to stay until death took them away. But the little princess begged and pleaded her father until the king relented and had mercy on the two. And from then on, they all lived happily ever after.